In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own Pokemon NFTs and then view them on OpenSea. Here I have a couple dozen Pokemon and each Pokemon has a picture. Here we see that Weedle has a unique description and it is a bug type Pokemon. In addition, Weedle has attack, defense, HP, and speed levels. For any NFT that you create on OpenSea, you can go to the OpenSea metadata standards page to see what properties are supported. We see that OpenSea supports properties like image, image data, external URL, description, and name, and attributes, where every attribute has a name called a trait type as well as a value. For this video, we have three main steps. First, I'm going to upload the metadata about our Pokemon to IPFS. Next, I'm going to deploy the ERC721 smart contract, which is for NFTs. And lastly, I'm going to mint the NFTs. There are many different ways you could do this. In my setup, I'm using Hardhat with Node.js. I've already created accounts on NFT storage and MetaMask, and I've already downloaded images of all the Pokemon, and I have a CSV file that has the names of Pokemon and their descriptions. First, let's upload our metadata to IPFS. In my assets folder, I have photos of the 150 original Pokemon. For example, 1.png is Bulbasaur, 2.png is Ipisaur, and 3.png is Venusaur. In addition, I have the CSV file which contains descriptions of the Pokemon. For example, Bulbasaur is a grass and poison type with these HP, attack, defense, and speed levels. In addition, there is also a description of each Pokemon. In this storecontent.mjs, I'm going to parse the CSV and then upload the metadata to IPFS. In this first method, I'm going to parse the CSV file. Each row of the CSV represents the attributes for one Pokemon. So I'm going to take the first 50 rows of that CSV. For each row, I'm going to extract properties like name, description, type, HP, attack, defense, and speed, and then create an attributes object out of them, and then store the metadata in IPFS. This create attributes helper accepts the type HP, attack, defense, and speed, converts them into JSON and pushes them into a list and then returns that list. The store asset method is going to take the name of the Pokemon, its description, and the attributes, as well as a path to the PNG file for that Pokemon. Then it's going to use the NFT storage API to upload the metadata for that Pokemon into IPFS. Lastly, that method is going to print the name of the Pokemon and the metadata URL. Now let's run the script to upload the metadata. Next, we can confirm that this metadata URL contains the information about the Pokemon. As an example, let's look at Jigglypuff. I'll copy the content identifier into a URL that's suitable for the IPFS gateway. Here we can see the metadata for blockchain Jigglypuff. It has a description, it has a normal type, it has HP, attack, defense, and speed, and it has a image at this content identifier. We can use this content identifier to see the photo of Jigglypuff. And there's our photo. Next, I need to store these metadata URLs so I can use them for minting. I'm going to store these URLs in a file called metadata URLs. I'm also going to format them into a CSV. Here, I'm going to use the Open Zeppelin implementation of ERC721. I'll call the contract Pokemon NFT, and the tokens will be called Poke NFT. In deploy.mjs, I am going to deploy the contract onto Polygon. So now I'm going to copy the smart contract address. I'm going to use the address of our deployed contract here and this file which is going to mint our tokens. I'm going to paste the smart contract address and store it in this variable called contract address. For our minting, we are going to iterate over the CSV file which contains our metadata URLs. For each, for each row in the CSV, I'm going to extract the IPFS URL and then call this mint NFT helper method. This mint NFT helper method takes the contract address and the metadata URL. Then it calls the mint NFT function on the smart contract. Now let's start minting. 
Now that the minting is finished, we can head over to OpenSea to check out our newly minted NFTs. So here in OpenSea, I have this newly created Pokemon NFT collection. There is one owner, myself, and we have 50 newly minted Pokemon NFTs. Let's look at an example. Let's look at Firo. So we see that its name is Blockchain Bob Firo. It has a description and it has a normal type and it has an attack, defense, HP, and speed. If I click on the type, I can also see all the other Pokemon in the collection that are of normal type, such as Jigglypuff, Spiro, Rattata, and Pidgey. Now, if we look at Clefairy, if I click on its attack level, then I can also see other Pokemon in the collection that have an attack level of 45. On the Polygon Testnet Explorer, I can also look up the smart contract of our new Pokemon NFTs. Here, we can see that it was created by myself and I minted 50 new NFTs, all to myself. Please let me know if you have any questions or concerns, and I'll see you in the next video.